So a big welcome to the host country for this game. Not the atmosphere that they were hoping to come into the game with, but it certainly has plenty to bolt this game. First time England have been away from Twickenham in six years. And Danny Kerr really looking forward to this evening. Getting this on his rugby CV, lovely pass, Scoop releases Jack Noll, the Exeter Chief flying down the wing, Anthony Watson's going to beat him to it, is he down there now? The referee will go back and look at this to see whether Watson was ahead of the kicker. Nothing wrong with the ground though, great opportunity again, Youngs. Carly, no contest again as the Uruguayans try and set out their stall just behind where the line-out takes place, but it's there, Nick Easter's got it, and Nick Easter goes over for the second try. Job done by the English forwards. Rob Shaw takes them four metres away from the third try. Ford looks back inside. This is very resilient defending from the Uruguayans, but how long can they keep it up? Almost there, Easter finishes things off from barely half a metre. And there's the second try for the veteran number eight. Should be a relatively simple try from here. Paul, quick hands to go, and Watson scores the first try in the first half, and the first try in the second half. Again, concentration at the breakdown, letting England down. Charge from Henry Slade. Now Slade hacking the ball clear, Mieres comes across, can't stop the Exeter man, and Henry Slade is going to pick up the pieces, put them together, and take a whole lot out of that try for England. Slade must be one of those that they've got to utilise. England now trying to make the most of his speed, Danny Kerr has Jack Noel outside him, and it's an Exeter Chiefs 1-2 in the space of two minutes. Another try for England. Great charity joining Jack, if you're not aware of it. Just Google it and you'll see what it's about. Nick Easter in charge of the ball, in charge of the scoreline. And there's a hat-trick for England's number eight. Is it confirmed? I think it is. Easter celebrates maybe his last World Cup game with a hat-trick. Easter sniffing a fourth try. Told you he's done it once before, but lob over the top from Ford opens the door for Jack Noel with 10 minutes to go. Breakdown has moved on and I just need to get up to speed. Joseph releases Henry Slade, Noel's out there and Jack Noel, like Nick Easter, it goes in for a hat-trick of tries, big grins on the face of the Exeter Chief man. So George Ford finishes things off. England finish with 60 points. It's the end of a disappointing World Cup campaign, albeit a satisfying win here this evening.